Right, this is going to be a, a separate standalone video for uh, pitching a poncho. <laughs> so I hope this works out and I hope it's helpful. Most importantly, I hope it works out because I now don't have the tent. The tent is now gone. The forecast said uh, a little bit of cloud this afternoon and little to no rain at all, apart from maybe some in the morning. It's actually turned quite windy and indeed the mist has started rolling in so i kind of hope that i kind of hope i made the right decision with the um with keeping the poncho now i'll, I'll edit in here some footage of how the poncho was set up last night so you can just have a quick uh, run around you know so you can see how I did that so I'll just edit that in here okay so what I've done is I've put one line with just a basic knot looped through there with a knot and a peg and another line there looped through with a basic knot and a peg there and that has effectively raised up the back and of course that will give the back you know a little bit of uh, height and then in here we've of course got the hood which will secure and apart from a couple of minor tweaks that's the basic setup and you will see that where I am where I was was here now I can't, my head was here and I like to have, I like to lie on this side because I was sort of, um, I like to lean on the right hand side and if I'm not leaning on the right hand side to do things I can't do it so I have to pitch so I can lean on my right. Now at first I thought it would be simple to just switch the head around but with the poncho there's not enough room in to do that because I have to have one side right down to the ground and the wind is coming in this way today it was coming in this way yesterday it's now done a 180 and it's coming in this way <laughs> as you can see this mist is quite literally rolling in towards us So I need to pitch in a certain, uh, I can't pitch in the same place. I'm thinking of pitching in this space through here with my head there and then that way my head will be downwind and this side here, this side here will be pitched to the ground so protecting me. And then this high bit of ground here and this tussocky gorse thing here will give me some protection. Well, that's, that's the theory. So I'm going to do some basic setup. So when it's dry, you can actually just put the ground, you know, the bivy in the position that you want. And that can be quite helpful in, in pitching because sometimes you can pitch and where you actually pitch may not be exactly where you want your, you know, your bed to go. So if it's not raining, it's quite handy to put that down. So I'm going to bring that over here and put it down here. So that's kind of got that laid out about where we wanted I've put the head on a little bit of a raise okay what I've done so far is this one here I've pegged directly to the ground this one here I've pegged on some cord to give it a little bit of height but that will need adjusting they'll all need adjusting this one here I've put on a long line because I will want to have a little bit of height on this one moment it's coming pretty much this way the wind and the forecast is saying that it will swing around to the west which is directly towards the camera okay well we've got the general 
setup here. I was going to actually try and film it, but I ended up doing it and then. So I've pitched that end right to the ground. And then I have raised the back a bit. Now this might very well be too high, but, but what I'll be able to do is to get the rucksack and put the rucksack along here, then that will give protection to, to the back. I may have to just slightly lower this down to the ground a bit more, but I'll just take a, I'll take a bit of a chance for the moment that I have enough protection because I'd rather go for space and sacrifice a tiny bit of protection, but we'll kind of cross that bridge as we get to it. Okay, well this pretty much concludes my poncho pitching <laughs> a video. Very, very short, short and sweet, short for me. Okay, so this is kind of the final product. So I'll give you a, a walk around so you can see. I've used one long pole here, which is a normal walking pole. And then I've used one of these clips and I think these are strong enough for this application. That needs to be a very strong peg. That's taking a lot of pressure, that one peg. To get a little bit of height in the middle here, otherwise this would sag down a lot, I brought with me two Eastern poles. These I got from MLD, of course. Uh, I had them for a very long time. They're super light and they're very handy as a supplementary pole. I've used two and I've done this rather strange windy roundy thing with some cord and then over some bungee cord at the bottom just to hold the two together. So it's one long one and then a shorter one just in the middle just to give the middle part extra strength. The mist is quite literally blowing that way now. I have raised my end up off the ground, which is potentially a weak spot because obviously, you know, wind is going to get under there. So I've put Lass's bag there to give some protection. If it proves a problem, then obviously this line I can make shorter to get this line, you know, get it closer to the ground. But I, I like, like I said, I like a bit of height for my head and then I've just slowly made them the lines shorter and shorter here again so I've got some height where I'm gonna be you know I do like comfort and height and then the back two I've just pegged you know pretty much to the ground I had some bungee cord so this one here has a bungee cord here and then I've run this bungee cord down here. And then that again just helps just bring that, that middle out just a little bit. And I tied off the hood so rain shouldn't get in. And then at the back, I've gone for an A frame type thing at the back again, just to give me a little bit of height. Now, again, if it rains and the rain changes to this direction, which it could do, that's a weak spot, so I'm going to put the rucksack, as I say, at the back just to give some protection. I'd rather have height. I can lower that if necessary, but for now I'm going to go for that and, and height. And then again, I've just got one long line here. Again, the long line is to give height. If you have a very short line, it just takes drops it down quickly and then you lose height. So again, I've gone for height and I like comfort and height. I don't like to be too squashed to the ground. And then the bivvy inside, I went for the super light bivvy, which I've had for a long time now, with the small head piece, as it were. So that should give plenty of protection, you know, under here, as you can see, the head piece is there. And the wind is coming in, you know, kind of like 
this way so that should be fine i've run one line i always make sure i've got plenty of line with me so i've run another line from here to here and then i've put various loops in it really just to shorten it off to be honest and then the bungee cord attaches to there to hold that up when i'm just in it for general use then i will undo that and then if i need to do it up then i can do it up and obviously it'll be easy enough to reach to do it up so that's the end of the pitching guide as it were for <laughs> this particular poncho other ponchos may vary of course but that gives you a rough rundown for this poncho and then we will see how it gets on it should be okay it looks comfortable enough there's not a huge amount of room for lassie but it's summer she's a collie so i'm not uh, too worried like i said it's misty it's not supposed to rain but at a pinch you know there would be enough room for her to scoot up there if necessary that's it thank you for watching i hope this video has been helpful on pitching a poncho I did wear the poncho uh, in another video, so I maybe just sort of add in and, and edit in here maybe of me just wearing this. So if you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. If you didn't like it, I hope you haven't got this far, so no need to dislike it. <laughs> All right, okay, well, like I said, the weather has <laughs> changed from yesterday. The weather, <sighs> has taken a little bit of a turn for the worse and it's not exactly poncho weather but we're we're clinging in there we've rigged the sails the wind was supposed to be a westerly to a southwesterly uh, breeze coming in this way but it it's suddenly become a slightly easterly south easterly breeze and rain was starting to blow in this way somewhat tilt here which you can just see so i've tied it up to a peg up there it's tied it up there another tie out point here a peg in the ground which is what's holding the the bed in place a peg down there and then I put another line I had a spare line out over there so if you are using a poncho and you are uh, in the middle of uh, um, a moor like this then you're probably going to need you know a few extra bits to give you some you know protection and cover because it's uh not so <laughs> not so good today it's certainly a a bit of a change from yesterday i hadn't quite expected the weather to to change in direction a bit but anyway we're we're holding up just about i think what i'm actually going to do is it's not that comfortable you know it's kind of like perched half in and half out like this so i'm probably going to end up actually getting into the or under cover maybe we'll see it's getting a little bit of damp on there but not uh much well that that's what it's that's what that cover is designed for is to protect it it's not exactly winter we're not exactly gonna perish out here okay well <laughs> i'm settled in and I say settled in for the night. Certainly, if it was winter, it would be night time now. It's only half past five. So, half past five, six, seven, eight. So, we've still got another three and a half hours of daylight. Uh, but it's not very nice. It really has turned quite dramatically. You saw my rig there. Uh, I've what I've done is I've kind of sort of got into bed because uh, there's no no other choice. The only other choice is to stay out and get wet, and obviously that's not a choice. 
I had this set up. Um, I put another line, I brought plenty of line with me. I put another line here to another peg. I brought plenty of pegs as well. Um, so all the weight that you save on bringing just this, you kind of, uh, you kind of lose on bringing about a million tons of rope and anchor points, but uh, it's not that many to be honest. So I just put another line here and it was just to stop this piece from flapping. And then obviously it's going to flap down into my face. It has reduced height a little bit in here. So what I've done is I've rigged up this, hang on, <laughs> it's not quite so, it's not quite as much room as before, but it's still not bad. I mean, my head is still under here. My head is still under and I can just about move it. Obviously I'm not in bed, but uh, you know, my head is still under just. What I've done, if I can get my bum up. So I've put a piece of Cuban here as like an extension so it's almost like you're in a tent but you but you're not you do you know you like making your tent a bit bigger <laughs> and then a bit of foam matting here so i don't know if you can see that there then if i need to lean on it i can lean on it and i'm not putting my elbow onto cold wet ground if i need to adjust myself or anything like that i can put my backside on that and it's uh, going to be dry well, and warm-ish. So it just gives a little bit of an extension to what you're, to what you're doing. It's not a bad setup. So, I mean, like I said, I've got this sail behind me because the wind decided to change direction. There is some moisture down here. And that's not helped by that flappy bit there. To be honest, if it became a major problem, I've got another tiny piece of cord here. And I'm sure I've got another peg floating around somewhere. So, you know, I could, and I may actually do that, just to tie that off as I've got a peg and that piece of cord, because every bit that flaps is a bit of rain that gets in and if this is going to rain for quite a while it could get damp there so actually i probably will end up uh you know doing doing that but it's not cold i've just switched over to this t-shirt and it most definitely is not cold so i think the next thing to do is i'm gonna tie that off and then i'm going to make a nice cup of tea when in doubt make a tea when in doubt make a tea okay well the uh, weather is uh, most definitely taken a bit of a turn for the worst you can see rain I'm assuming you can see the rain there there's quite a bit of moisture on here but this is like the good job I brought the bivy this is a super light bivy good job i brought this this is protecting my sleeping bag or my quilt well, at least i hope it's protecting this quilt it's not cold i'm quite comfortable i've still got my uh sail rigged up here and uh well yeah, we're just watching The Incredible Hulk at the moment. I think even he'd get a bit damp out here. Les is uh, fine asleep there. She could duck under this space. There is a tiny bit of, I could move that back. She could, she could get under there, but she seems quite content there. All my bits that I need to keep dry, that obviously can't fit, you know, in here. I've put in this bag here, so that should keep it all dry there. Luckily, at least the wind is blowing you know, generally in that direction and not uh, not really affecting me so much, really. Made these sides, you know, very, very close to the ground to give me extra protection on that side. So that's why uh, that's why we're a, bit, a little bit more cramped than normal. 
but you know I've still got enough room I've got plenty of room to do what I need to do I can I can I can lean on an elbow with my setup here with my bit of bit of stuff down by the side there you know I've got my bit of Cuban fiber here and a foam mat so that means I've got something to lean on you know that's out just outside the the bivy so I don't get a wet elbow this this kilt is an absolute lifesaver today because it, I would have got a bit damp if I hadn't have brought that with me I would have got a bit damp and a good job I brought that plus plenty of extra pegs and line and cord and and things like that because I think I've used almost every piece of cord that I brought with me and I did add on that extra piece there just to stop that bit there from flapping quite so much I just sort of put a piece through and just looped it up it's probably would have been better at an angle but I did it to while undercover my tummy just rumbling <laughs> so yeah we're doing okay to be honest it's not so bad really Ooh. Like I said, it's quite comfy. It's plenty warm enough. We've got shelter. You know, we're out of the wind. We're out of the rain, well, most of it. So we're doing, we're doing okay. Good job I took the hilly bird back to the car. <laughs> Good job I took the hilly bird back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> this was not forecast but well, I've just looked at the weather forecast and it is forecast now it's supposed to blow over I can't I can't move it it's supposed to blow over about seven eight o'clock and then after that it should be just either misty or cloudy so the rain should stop soon now it has been quite heavy rain too it's been quite uh been quite a shower um, that, that this that this has had to deal with I have to say it hasn't been just a light you know it's quite a quite a drop of rain that we're dealing with here I won't be sorry when it stops there uh, maybe this the outer can dry off a bit I'm a, you know marginally concerned about that but not not much It's fine. <laughs> we'll survive. We'll survive. I was watching uh, Midway. In fact, I need to finish Midway as well. You know, we kind of got it lucky, really, haven't we? These this day and age, what the poor buggers went through in the uh, in the war and everything. God. Anyway, okay, I'm going to carry on with my tea and watching the Incredible Hulk, and then I'm going to finish Midway. Maybe I'll get back to you later. Right, just one thing to make sure with your poncho is that you keep the bungee cords tight on the inside. If you saw my other video, then you will have noticed that they were a bit loose. And because I knew the weather was going to be more inclement yesterday, I tightened this knot up. So it's taken the pressure off the hood. With my poncho, I like to have a little draw cord on it. It's not included, but I managed to thread something through long, long, long ago. And then that thready thing, you know, I just used to wrap around and then tie, tie in with this, this thing here, which I just added on. It's a bit of wet there. So that's how I was able to secure and then obviously I just tighten the hood up as well with a little bit of jiggery pokery it does remarkably well you know all things considered and I think you'd normally use a poncho like you know in fairly sheltered areas this is 
this is an open moor, this is not sheltered at all. And it did, it did fine here, it did fine here. <coughs> I wouldn't be risking this in uh, outside of summer weather here, it would just be a bit too much of a risk. But I am surprised at how well it did last night when the weather really was not nice. There was quite some heavy rain last night. It was really not very nice. And I'm quite surprised and quite pleased that, like I said, with a bit of ingenuity and, and you know, pegging points and various other bits, I've taken my sail down now. Well, that's the only thing, pitching it like this with a poncho, you can only protect yourself really from one and a bit um, angles. You, you could obviously pitch it lower but then you'd be so confined and so you could you know you can protect yourself from one and a half or two angles that's about it i guess you could pitch it a lot lower and protect yourself even more but then you lose all space inside but you know if that's how you like to do things then i think you could get a lot more protection from this if you don't mind it a bit uncomfortable in there. I like a bit of comfort myself. And I have to say the poncho, it did give me enough comfort. I was able to sit up in the door. I put this bit of mat down here and that meant that I could sit, you know, just forward a little bit but still be under cover. It worked surprisingly well. Oh, it's just a little bit of bonus footage for the poncho video if I remember to <laughs> add this in I hope so all right thanks for watching goodbye